Who is he that wishes so? My cousin? Westmoreland? Nay, faith, dear cuz, wish not a man for me. God's peace, I am not covetous for gold. It earns me not if men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honor, well then, I am the most offending soul alive. Rather proclaim it, Westmoreland, throughout this host, that he that hath no stomach for this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be paid, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company who fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day shall come safe home, shall yearly on the vigil feast his neighbor and say, tomorrow is St. Crispian. Then I'll let strip his sleeves and show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all will be forgotten, but he'll remember. With advantages, what feats he did that day. Then shall our names familiar in his mouth as household words. Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester shall be in their flowing cups, freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son. And Crispin and Crispiano shall ne'er go by from this day until the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he that sheds his blood today with me it shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so base nor vile this day, shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now a bed shall think themselves a curse they were not here with us, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks that fought with us upon St. Crispin's day. I'm ready to fight with you, man. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Where do I go? Where do I sign? Uh, 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 I'm sure. 